there are four key components of the freestyle stroke. There is the pooling phase, where the arm moves underneath the water to create propulsion. There is the recovery phase, where the arm moves above the water. There is the kick, and there is the breath. In this video analysis, we're going to highlight the rules of each phase and which order you should prioritize each phase. Starting with the pool phase, the pool occurs once the arm has entered the water and the arm is in motion creating propulsion. The end of the pool is as your arm breaches the surface of the water. The end of the pool is often referenced by the arm brushing past the leg, but if the arm is still in water in motion, propulsion is still active. It's important to reference the end of the pool phase as the arm breaching the surface of the water. Now the law of the pool is to ensure that you 1. maintain propulsion and 2. maintain balance at the surface of the water. Balance is important because if a swimmer is not particularly balanced, then some proportion of their propulsion is used to keep them at the surface instead of propelling forward. Looking at our footage outside the water, the recovery occurs once the arm has breached the surface to move outside the water and ends once the arm is back in the water. Now the recovery is spoken about a lot in swimming, but the recovery does not offer any propulsion. So the law of the recovery is to 1. ensure that the arm recovers to maintain the stroke cycle and 2. do not disturb the pool phase. You may notice that performance swimmers often have different recovery techniques, but you'll notice if you look at the footage underneath the water, they all tend to pull in a similar manner, following the same rules. The kick is the movement of the legs, and the kick should originate from the quads. There are different types of kicks, and they are described as by beats, which means how many kicks occur within a stroke cycle. A two-beat kick means that two kicks occur every stroke cycle. Performance swimmers are known to raise that kick up to an eight beat kick when racing. The kick, when we look at the rules of the kick, is to supplement propulsion and stability. The breathing phase occurs when the head moves to bring the mouth outside the water. The law of the breath is number one, to ensure that you receive air and law number two to ensure that you do not disturb the pooling phase of the stroke. You will notice that the law of the kick, the breath and the recovery revolve around the pooling phase. This tells us to prioritize the pool phase because it is responsible for maintaining balance and propulsion, which is the physics that ultimately control your ability to cover distance and time, what we see on the stopwatch. Many swimmers dwell on resistance, but because resistance cubes, unless you are a performance swimmer, we find much more gain is received by prioritizing balance and propulsion, which means to focus on the start and end of the propulsion phase, which is the start and end of the pool. If you have any questions about this video, or any of our other content, be sure to leave a comment below. We will create a new video review and we'll leave the link to this video in the descriptions below. Be sure to support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel.